What's going on guys, it's Manny King here and welcome to episode 7 of your voice my choice. I really want to talk about the Xbox reveal that was yesterday and Call of Duty Ghost, but first I want to get the gameplay out of the way. So I'm actually kind of disappointed that I didn't do a lot better in this gameplay because I'm using a class setup that I would probably use if I wasn't really doing the show. It's an M81 with stock and fast mag which is a good combination of attachments. Flag Jacket, Toughness, Scavenger, and Dexterity. Basically, almost the same perks I use in any other class. Now I switch out Tac Mask for Dexterity. And a C4 and a Rocket Launcher. So, with the Rocket Launcher, I was basically just doing, going for challenges that I would not really go for if I was just playing normally. Because not it's not very often when I have a Rocket Launcher class. It's very rare if I have one. So right here, you're actually going to end up seeing me just say, you know what, I'm in a dangerous situation. Let me just kill myself and someone else with me. So I'm actually pretty disappointed at the final scoreline with this class. I thought I would do a lot better in the 20 games, but unfortunately, I just did okay. It was never really an outstanding game that I got. Uh, this was the best. I think I ended up going like 71 and 14. I really felt like I could have done a lot better, especially with this M881, which I'm a huge fan of the gun. But at times, I just felt like maybe I'm just not that good with it. I don't know. Um, it was just very weird to me that I couldn't do a lot better. Um, I wish that I could have probably gotten a lot more kills with this. I was thinking that maybe even before I started recording for it, maybe I'll get close to 100 plus. But then again, I wasn't running these big score streaks. I was running Counter Uravian, Lightning Strike, and Orbital. So, I don't know. I did go on a few streaks. It was okay. But it was nothing too insane but i hope you guys enjoy this either way uh, i definitely tried but i feel like i disappointed myself in not doing a lot better than this so let's actually talk about the xbox reveal a lot of people have mixed opinions on the xbox reveal yesterday i know a lot of people if i go into an xbox reveal uh video on youtube there are a lot of dislikes a lot of people are giving the uh the presentation of its of the conference, I guess, or the reveal, really bad hate. I guess they didn't like the features that were shown. I think Xbox had made it clear, or Microsoft had made it clear before the reveal, that it was basically just going to be about the console itself. It was not going to be really about games. So I knew what to expect going in. I knew that they were just going to show me a whole bunch of features. They were basically going to give uh, a presentation where the Kinect and just the system itself and what it can do would be basically the main thing that they're going to be talking about. So I was expecting that going in, but uh, the thing that I really wanted to watch the conference for was just basically the Call of Duty Ghost reveal. That's what I was mostly interested in because already I've already decided that uh, I'm pretty much going to go with PS4. Uh, I don't think I'm going to switch over to Xbox and basically watching that reveal and the stuff that I can do, uh, it pretty much just cemented the fact that I'm pretty much going to go PS4 and I don't know if I'm going to be going Xbox, maybe later on in the years I'll end up picking one up. But just the stuff that they talked about, it really didn't interest me. I mean, they talked about Skype, which I can do already if I wanted to with the computer that's right next to me. So it's not really needed on a console. I understand that they just want everything to be, oh my god, I got quick soaked. And I think that's what was annoying me uh, in this lobby. Because I remember we stayed in this lobby for a good seven, eight games on that sniper. Uh, but <laughs> let me get back on topic. So I understand that they want to put everything in one console. And that's what they've really been trying to do for several years now with the 360 is just making it pretty much the one device in your living room. So you can just use that for TV and uh, video games, movies, all this stuff. And that's basically what they're trying to do with the Xbox One, which I think is a stupid name. I really don't like the name, but... Uh, uh, from what I've read, I guess Xbox wants it to be the one device for all your entertainment needs. So I guess that makes sense, but I just hate the name. I really do. Uh, I, I thought it could have been a lot better. I mean, I even like the Xbox Infinity that, that uh, was being rumored as the name. But yeah, the features were nice. I like the ESPN, Fantasy Tracker, stuff like that. But I really didn't want that in a console. I guess that's... I guess that's my biggest problem. I didn't want the features that they're telling me on a video game console. Um, I don't know. I, I'm very uh, mixed about it. I'm waiting for E3, to be honest with you, maybe to make my ultimate decision on the 360, uh, 360 the Xbox One. Uh, such a stupid name. But I'm waiting to uh, for E3 just to make my final decision. If I'm even going to pick it up later on, uh, just some of the features that it had, it's just, eh. I mean... 
it's not really my cup of tea. I know a lot of people might be excited for it, which I can understand. Xbox, uh, the Xbox 360, I had the Xbox 360, and I really just picked it up for several games like Halo, uh, Gears of War. I played that a couple of times. It was very rare that I really played the Xbox for anything else but really Halo. And so I know it has a huge following of people that just really bought it for Halo. I know a lot of my friends actually have a 360 just because of Halo. So, I don't know, it's just something that, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out, how people are going to react uh, to the Xbox in the next coming months, see if, uh, it, it's just going to be interesting, it really is. So, let's actually talk about Call of Duty Ghosts, <laughs> pretty much I only have like three minutes left to really talk about it. But Call of Duty Ghosts, it was revealed also yesterday in the Xbox uh, press conference, basically, for the Xbox One. And it looks pretty interesting. It's going to be, I think, on the PS3 and 360, but also on the next generation consoles. And I think that's where it's going to get pretty interesting. So I'm going to be getting the PS4 on launch. I'm hoping that Call of Duty Ghosts is around or is a launch title for the next generation consoles. It would be really awesome if it is. I mean, I really don't doubt that uh, it will be a launch title. I mean, I think that's when they'll make their biggest sales if they make it a launch title at, of like a new console. But uh, some of the features that they're adding, it, it sounds pretty interesting. Uh, dynamic maps where they basically said uh, maybe an earthquake will come out onto the map or maybe flooding, which I'm, I'm anticipating the flooding will be somewhat like Hydro where uh, water just comes out of like some, uh, I, I guess, uh, I don't even know what it is. I guess pipes. Oh, right there, I was just checking the scoreboard and I was just walking forward and I ended up getting myself killed by a sniper. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm anticipating the flooding somewhat to be like Hydro. Um, they also said that there's going to be some traps on the map where users can actually activate them. I'm not entirely too sure how that's going to be. Uh, it, it's, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting how the next Call of Duty is going to work. I noticed that they added a new... Uh, I guess mantling uh, animation where you're basically gonna jump over an obstacle and continue running. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, maybe it'll change my way of jumping because I usually jump and then crouch uh, just so I could basically jump through a window without really uh, taking the time to really press X on it and do the jump animation through it. I just think it's too slow. So most of the time I do just jump and crouch going through a window. But maybe this jump, this new mantle animation will basically be a faster way. Who knows? I'm not entirely too sure about that animation. They showed it a couple times. It looked pretty interesting. Uh, another thing that they showed, there is going to be sliding. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's really going to be useful or if it's just going to be like a dolphin dive really just uh, for the hell of it. I never really use the dolphin dive that much. Um, I think the only time I really use it if is if I'm in a dangerous situation and there's a guy with like a light machine gun shooting at the wall that I'm shooting at and I run across like a building and just dive and di dolphin dive into another building that's pretty nearby. So it might be the like the dolphin dive that I might not even use it that much or it could be something useful. I don't know yet. And another thing that I felt was probably the most... Uh, uh, interesting thing about Call of Duty Ghosts is that you're going to be able to go in and out of walls. Now, I think that's going to change a lot of the gunfights. I think a lot more people might be a little bit more uh, slow paced with their gameplays. Like right there, if this was uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, I might have stayed at that B wall and maybe peeked out and see if anyone was there. Maybe people are going to be a little bit more cautious going around corners. I don't expect... Uh, a lot of people to be running because of that feature. I don't know if that's going to be a multiplayer or only in the single player. It could be only single player. Who knows at this point. But I'm very excited for E3 this year. I, I can't wait. There's going to be a lot of more uh, interesting news coming out about Call of Duty in the next few months. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. Peace.